Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is August 1st because, unfortunately, our field did not uh, mature or ripen on uh, July 2nd or July 3rd. So I had to move all the way into August. Uh, so let's first, before we do anything else, take a look at um, the August money. Uh, so basically, you can see it all over here. Um, or I'm sorry, not the August money, the July money. So these were our running costs, our leasing costs, property maintenance, production costs. Uh, we didn't purchase anything in July. We made $104,743 off of our greenhouses, spent $392 on fuel. Um, water is the usual. We made just a tiny bit of harvest income from a little bit of the wheat that we sold. Uh, the biogas plant brought us in $64,729. And we made 73,764 or 647 rather um, netted on contract money, which is pretty good contract money. We paid workers 2,800 bucks, $41 miscellaneous. I don't even remember what that was for. And we paid $8,532 in distribution. So uh, we are sitting at uh, half a million bucks, 503,539. This is what's in the sales. We're not really interested in either one of these. I already have this, and this is a mulcher. And so, yeah, that's where we're at at this point in time. I don't think there's anything we want to sell in August, but let's just double check that. Um, let's look at eggs. Nope. Wool. Nope. Milk. No, but milk's going to be really good next month, assuming this doesn't change. So we might hang on to our milk and, and do a big milk sale at that point in time. Uh, flour, no. Bread, no. Cake. Next month is cake, okay. Uh, butter and cheese. So cake, butter, cheese, and milk in September. So that's what we're looking at next month for sales. Chocolate will be in January. Uh, or I might even wait all the way into next May so we get a really big chunk of it all right very good so that's uh, so nothing to sell uh, in this month we're gonna jump in the man here and do I have is everything connected here yeah it looks like it is okay and get out to the field and our first order of business today is to harvest the wheat off of field 57 and then we're gonna turn right around and plant grass just like we did last year on that field uh, if you're watching for the first time, that gave us uh, two huge advantages. One, we got a nice cutting of uh, grass off the field in October. And by planting the grass and then rolling it before we replanted our next arable crop, uh, we got fertilizer, uh, two applications of it. So it worked out really well. And so it is my intention to do the same thing again this time. Uh, all right, so we got a. Uh, we're, I'm gonna get auto drive set up here, and um, we're gonna go. I think we're gonna just take. We're gonna take everything to our silo, and then I'll divvy it out to the chickens and the flour mill after that. So that way we can just have auto drive do it automatically. Okay, so to do that, uh, I guess we could set up on on here. I've actually had the traffic uh, turned off for the last several months in game. Not necessarily deliberately because I kind of like the you know the immersion in the life but it's also a huge pain in the butt sometimes too. So what we want to do is we want uh, to go into here and we're gonna want unload combine Okay, so do I have a field 57 load site? It doesn't look like I do. Um, I, I did have some of that at one point, but I ended up wiping all that out and starting over because things kind of get messy with auto drive after a while. Okay, so we do have, we have a main silo load, but we don't have a main silo unload. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to... Uh, turn this on and turn this on. And we're going to make this point right here. Uh, we will call this, whoops, wrong button. 
Uh, we will call this F57 load. Okay, and then we're just going to drive a route to our our silo, our main silo. And I should be able to, oh, I turned my recorder off on accident. Let's back up here. Get right about here. Turn that back on and join these back up. Okay. Now, let's see that. Those nodes are going the other direction. But I, Well, don't we have a route, though, over here? Yeah, it looks like we do. Okay, so let's just turn this into here. Oh, no, that's going that way, too. Okay, let's stop recording and I'm, I'm gonna I'm going to see I thought I had an, a route going back that other direction maybe it's further down the road either that or I, I did have it but I, I just it got erased you know like uh, when I said we did before yeah, it looks like it got erased. Okay. If we... That is going that direction. So we could come out and follow this path. And, yeah, just kind of keep going down the road here. And I think we have a path into the silo here. So this, this one was for pickup, but we could also, we should also be able to use it for dropping off too. There's no reason not to. Because they just come through here and then they'd unload at this point. So main silo load uh, can also be unload. So let's uh, let's go to main silo. Um, no, we want to do field 57 load is the first one, and main silo load is the second one. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just leave it as it is. Okay, so I just have to link that up. Now, once they go through there, they're going to come back out this way. But I think... Instead, we should branch off and come back this way. Okay, so let's start recording there. Connect those two up. Okay, we do have a pathway here that we could tap into. Okay, stop the recorder. And then they can follow along this path here. All the way back to over here. All right, now I want to delete.
this little path here that we recorded a moment ago all the way up to probably right about there okay so when we are following along this path we're gonna want to break off probably right about here I'm thinking And then just circle back around to F57 load. Okay, so all we have to do now is just link up uh, Let's delete that and that and that And let's also delete that and link that to there Okay and then we just have to link back up to this path up here. Yeah, this tends to get a little bit messy after a while. Okay, stop recording and link that into there, and then I think we're good. Okay, let's test our target points and make sure that they're all working. Um, we're just going to go drive to. So drive to F57 load. Okay, drive to main silo load. Okay, that looks good. And then go back to um, F57 load. In fact, we should be able to just set this now. F57 load, main silo load. And it should just drive right back to the F57 load target and then wait there until the combine calls it. It's a beautiful thing. All right, fantastic. Uh, so let's just leave him there, and we're going to get to our combine here. And we want to set uh, the combine to um, F57 load. And I think that's all we got to do with that. Um, now... We want to bring up course play. And it looks like I already, it's already loaded in there because I haven't used Combine for anything else since then. And I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. So uh, start at first waypoint. And let's harvest some wheat. Uh, why are you starting there? <laughs> oh, and how come you're not unfolded? Wait a second. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. I'm surprised it even... It, well, I'm surprised it didn't unfold it. That was weird. Alright. 
we're gonna start this over again. Okay, now we're gonna change this to nearest waypoint and then start it. Okay, I think we're good now. Yeah, that was weird, man. I would have expected the AI to have unfolded that or, or it not let me start, but it started with it folded, which is really strange. Okay, so basically what's gonna happen now is Combine's just gonna start harvesting the wheat and at some point when it gets to a certain fill level, it's gonna call the truck over here. The truck's probably gonna drive across the crop, but it's not gonna hurt it because uh, the AI doesn't mess up the crop. It's just simpler that way. And so yeah, let's just kind of watch it here and see see this all play out. I'm not controlling anything. It's all auto magic. Okay, so the pipe's coming out and the truck's gonna come over I think yeah it looks like he is hopefully combine will be down over this steep part of the hill by the time he gets here okay <laughs> he's like trying to figure out how to maneuver I suppose Hope there isn't a train coming. Here, let's go watch and see what he's doing. Yeah. Seriously, dude? <laughs> Get over there. Catching up with Combine, it says. If you look in the auto drive window on the right hand side up in the little blue title bar. Okay, I think we're I think we're doing good now. As long as he doesn't run into a tree. Okay, so the combine's backing up. But he's backing up too. Why is he backing up? He needs to hold still. Uh... Yeah, needs to be unloaded. Planning path, it says. Let's just wait a second. Okay, searching clear area. I'm wondering if it's just a little confused because all the trees and stuff are in the way. Okay, drive to combine pipe. There we go. Okay, finally. <laughs> Goodness sakes, man. <coughs> I hope he's gonna move out of the way because the combine's gotta swing back over to the left to keep going. My guess is it's just was the trees here kind of threw them off. It should, once they get in a little further into the field, it should go sm smoother. Uh, let's hope so anyway. Okay, good. So the truck is backing up. Reversing from combine, it says. 
that's kind of neat that the you know we have that little those little messages kind of telling us what auto drives thinking right okay combines fold in the pipe and hopefully it'll swing back to the left and keep going that's what I'm expecting it to do yeah okay Okay, so he just turns the truck off because he's only 29% full anyway. And we keep on keeping on. Okay, cool. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over and grab the Fent and the baler and get that ready to go. Um, so, And after the combine, you know, gets around a couple of times, then we can get the baling started. And... Um, I really kind of need one of those Anderson, or, or no, the Ar Arkison square bale pickup, the harrow bed thingies, because because I can also have that happen automatically. You know, using the flatbed to pick them up is nice when I'm controlling it, but I ha I haven't been able to get that to work automatically. So what we could do is we could we could just lease to own one of those too I mean I've been watching for one to come up in the sales but I haven't seen it in the sales in a very long time so I think that's what we'll do uh, for that I'm gonna grab that little bit over there yeah okay well some of it anyway and then he should turn in and start the next row here excellent Okay, so yeah, let's go get the baler, um, the fent and the baler, and we should be able to use a V-rake on this field. I th well, I think we can. It didn't let us use it on the contract fields. I can't remember if I used the V-rake the last time I did this field or not. I guess there's one way to find out, right? I've mentioned this before, but... You know, the larger our farm operation gets, the more critical it's going to be that we use this automation. Otherwise, there's just no way I'm going to be able to keep up with it by myself or even with the end game, you know, the base game AI because it's pretty stupid. So even though I could be running the combine myself, um, I, really, I really just want to get good at auto drive and course play and work in the automation because we're just going to need to use it it's a it's a essentially like in real life just having farm hands helping you out because anybody that has a farm you know like any other business you get to a point where you just can't do it all yourself so that's kind of the deal with that okay so we'll run the baler over to the start point it looks like he's called the truck uh, to come come over to him now which is good the truck does seem to be avoiding the fruit not that that matters I know that's a setting I thought I had turned that off but maybe I didn't all right so we're just gonna leave the tractor here I want I want the combine to get around at least one more um, headland before we start this so let's go back to the farm and here we might as well dump the rest of this TMR not that there's a whole lot there. And I want to jump in the New Holland. And we are going to lease to own the Harrow Bed. And maybe we'll luck out and one will come up on sale pretty soon and we can return the lease and buy the, the used one. Uh, but we're just at the point where we need it now. All right, so let's go here. We'll go here. We want bale loaders and we already have the Anderson so we want this and I know I could just buy it outright we can afford it but I'm I'm trying to even though we have a half million dollars we have some very expensive things to buy coming up so <laughs> try not to spend money any more than necessary right uh, okay so we're just going to lease this um, it's going to cost us 900 bucks a day when we're not using it and 1890 per work hour when we are ap after we pay the initial price and there we go. Okay, good. 
So we now have our own. I like to call it a harrow bed because that's what it reminds me of. I don't know. I don't think that's maybe technically what it's referred to these days. Bale pickup trailer, but it sort of looks like an old harrow bed, like the old harrow beds. And yeah, so there you go. Bale pickup trailer. That's that's what we call it. And now we can automate the pickup with this too. The downside to this thing is only holds 14 bales, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, looks like our trailer's coming around for the next load. The one thing I have noticed about the automatic bale pickup is um, it kind of just goes wherever it wants to and it can get in the way of other vehicles. That's looking good. So you have, you know, you do have to kind of keep an eye on it. And actually, you know, even if I'm not doing anything else, it's best for me to do the bale pickup because, you know, then I can do it uh, more efficiently, I guess is the word. In other words, keep the bales out of the way so the other machines don't get stuck up on them. All right, we are doing good, guys. We are doing good. So, yeah, I'm going to um, uh, wait for the combine to get another pass in, and then we will get the baling started. All right, coming in for the third load. How full is the truck getting? 68%. We'll probably be able to get this whole entire field in less than two of these trailer loads. Probably one and a half, I'm guessing. Okay, so I got it up to 87%. Okay, so everything seems to be working pretty good. Okay, let's hop out and get the baler start. Well, actually, you know what? We still we need to get these little pieces here at the end, so maybe I'll wait until... Oh, there's a piece of wood there. Maybe I'll wait till the very end before we start the baling, because otherwise... Yeah, the ba bales will be in the way and more straw will be left. So yeah, we'll just wait till he's completely finished before we start the bailing. Okay, we're coming up for the next load and this will definitely top the trailer off. I expect that the trailer will deliver to the silo. We shall see. Exiting field. Okay, that's a good sign. Incidentally, I turned the um, the trailer weight limit thing off, and I haven't really noticed any issues with unsta you know unstable, uh, unstable or instability. I got my in and unmixed up there uh, after I did that, and you know, I, and the reason I did is because I I got it was a little irritating having a trailer that had so much capacity and only been able to fill it up like sixty five percent before it was, you know, full. Well, it, it was apparently full weight-wise, but not volume-wise. And so, yeah, I just turned that off. Maybe not super realistic, but it lets us haul more stuff. So it's more efficient. Okay, so he should be ready to drive the path and go drop off the green. I don't think he'll make it back before the combine gets full again, but we'll see. I could have gotten a sec, uh, you know, had a second trailer going too, but what, wait a minute, what are you doing? Oh yeah, see it already needs to be unloaded again. That's okay. We're not in a hurry here. I don't know why it pulled off there, that was odd. Oh, I wonder if there's a, a broken link through there and it 
got off on the other one. It shouldn't be, though, because I think I drove that all the way through with the recorder on. I'll have to check that later. But so far, it looks like everything's working good. We have uh, 59,400 liters in here. We will we'll get our chickens topped off, and then after that, we'll put... I think I'm going to hang on to probably about 40,000 liters for the chickens uh, throughout the rest of the year, and then the rest of it will go into the flour mill. And th this actually worked out really well, too. I was able to feed the chickens the entire year this last year from the previous year's harvest <clears throat> without having to buy any grain. So it worked out pretty good. All right, nice. So it's dumping off. And then it should, I'm guessing what it'll do is it'll drive back to the F57 load <coughs> point and then head back onto the field to unload the combine. I'm just going to let it keep running uh, instead of intervening because I just want to make sure the whole process from A, A to Z works correctly. I'm expecting that it will, but let's just make sure. Okay, driving to combine pipe. Looking good. Looking good. All right, guys. Um, course play has finished with the field. I just got a little bit of cleanup work to do. And our our trucks being weird. <laughs> Hopefully it'll get around. I think it's going to be okay this time. It got a little confused at the very end here because the combine, you know, kept turning around in circles because it was a, a smaller and smaller area. So I think the truck was a little confused. I did also switch it over so, so it can just drive over the crop if it needs to. Because again, it doesn't actually damage it. All right, what are you doing, man? Just go over there and unload. Don't be dumb. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> I'm about ready to just take it over. We'll give it we'll give it one more chance to to do it right here. Maybe this is this will be the it. Okay, yeah, that's looking good. Now, once the combine f finishes loading it, does the truck... I wonder if it takes the, grain, the re remaining grain to the silo or if it knows, if it even knows that. My guess is it probably doesn't. It's probably going to expect to be completely full first. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, so it's 74% full. The combine's done. It's not going to do anything else. It's even folding up. And, yeah, the truck says waiting for call. Okay, so that suggests to me that it's just going to wait, which is fine. So let's get in here and undo what well, just got done. And we just have to get the, you know, the little corner pieces basically that were missed here.
All right, I'm gonna try something here. If we stick out the pipe, will that call the truck? It does, uh, oh yeah, it does, okay. Nice. That's it. <laughs> okay, so we are finished with the wheat harvest. Well, the wheat part of it anyway. We still got to do this straw part of it. So let's get the combine and the truck off the field. Okay, so for you, um, if we turn that off, And I think all we need to do with this guy is just give him a deliver uh, instruction. He'll just go deliver the grain, and then he'll he should just park at the at the silo, which is fine. So we'll get him out on the road here. I need to see where the nodes are. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right, so let's switch this over to. To deliver and tell him to deliver this at main silo load and he should take it over there for us okay now we want to hop in the baler and set this to Field 57, lost combine, load course, activate, first waypoint, and let him go to town. And it looks like the V-Rig does work on our own field. Okay, good. I couldn't remember for sure if it did or not. All right, so well, why don't we uh, let's wait for the first bale to drop, and then we'll we'll set this guy loose too and see how he does. So we want to clear. You don't load a course when you're doing bale pickup. We might as well get a little caught up to the baler too. Okay, so the first bale is on the field. So all we got to do is turn this on, and then hopefully he won't get uh, in the way of the baler. In theory, if he kind of keeps up with him, he shouldn't. Let's just watch for a second here. Because as long... Okay, so as, as long as the only bale that's on the field is the one that was just dropped, there's no other bale for this guy to go towards. So that means, in, again, in theory, he should stay behind the baler. Whether it actually works that way or not remains to be seen. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to let these guys do their thing. And um, I'll come back and do the combine later. I want to get back to the truck. Good. Now, how much weight do we have in storage? We have 104,000 liters. So we want to load... Yeah, we just basically want to load this trailer, which is 60,000 liters, and that'll leave roughly 40,000 in the silo. And that's what we want to keep on hand for the chickens for the rest of the year. Okay, well, it's working. 
Okay, so let's go top the chickens off, and then the rest of this wheat is going to go into the flour mill. Okay, that leaves us 50,619 liters left over for the flour mill. And that should give us a nice batch of flour for our bakery and for selling later on. Very cool. We should still be producing flour in the mill here. Let's just double check that it didn't finish. Yeah. Uh, so this is still activated from the flour we put in yesterday. Nice. I like it. I like it. All right. I'm going to go get this washed up, repaired, put away, and then get the combine washed up, repaired, and put away. And then we'll see how our baling crew is doing. Okay, so our uh, baler is, uh, or our bale wagon rather, is full. I wonder if we can do a, uh, use a pickup and deliver to get him to drop the straw off on his own. Let's try that. Uh, so we want to turn this on so we can see the track. So we can drive this way. Probably would make sense for that. Well, actually here. Yeah, it would make sense for him to break off right about here, I think. So let's start recording. And we want to go from here to here. I don't think I'm going to try and have him go across that little green bridge. I might be asking a bit too much here. So it pulls into here. And then past the unload area to here. Okay, let's call this straw unload. And then when he's done, he just comes back out this way. and back onto this track here. Okay. So let's, uh, okay, so this is pick up and deliver. So field 57 load and straw unload. Let's just see what happens here. Look at that, it works. How about that, all right. It's not fully automated because we still have to 
put him on and take him back off the field, but it's uh, still pretty better than having to do it all manually. I like it. Okay, and then he should drive back to F57 load where we can throw him back out on the field. If I turn this on, is that going to do anything? A little course play thingy? Probably not. Let's just wait a second see what happens, though. Yeah, it's just... It's not doing anything. Okay, so we'll turn that off. get him on the field and then uh, whoops there we go and let him go now now because we got bales all over the place he's just gonna kind of randomly go to whatever bale <laughs> he decides to go to uh, but uh, hopefully it won't cause any problems and he'll let us know when he is filled up again okay let's get the combine washed repaired and put away for now. All right, nice and shiny clean. So, um, we've been, uh, okay, looks like he's ready to be unloaded again. And maybe the baler's got a problem. Uh, you're just going to have to pretend <laughs> that we're putting a tarp over the top of this very expensive header because I just don't have any indoor place to store it as of right now. Okay. Let's connect the PTO. There we go. And... Oh, we got a... Hold this thing up. There we go. All right. Um. Okay. Yeah, I think I think the baler's done enough for me to take over from here. Uh, just to get the rest of it, you know, that it missed. So I believe that's what we'll do, but let's get this guy going to unload his next load here. And then I'll work on getting the rest of the straw off this field. And then after that, it'll be time to replant. All right, guys, this is the final load here. And so we have... Um, we already have over a million straw bales in here. When, no, I'm sorry, not, not a million bales, a million liters uh, in here. And then, of course, when this is finished here, we'll add six more to that. Very nice. Okay, that's a, that's a wonderful uh, collection of straw there. Of course, we've had more, but that's still not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's fold this thing up. And ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to wrap up this episode. Uh, so the next episode, we are going to get the, the field flipped back over to hay. And um, I did notice, too, I was looking at the field, and, and we're going to have to spread lime on it this time, too. So we'll have to do that. In fact, we'll probably do that first before we start planting. But we don't have to spread it on the entire field, just more the, you know, where the original field was. So we'll get that done. We'll get some hay uh, or grass more specifically planted uh, on that field and then go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.